audience from about 2004, my research group at Southampton had begun some work with a part of government, unfashionably called the Office of Public Sector Information. This was the part of government that looked after Crown copyright, but also tried, looked after enacting the European Public Sector Information Directive. A very powerful directive that if it was properly and thoroughly applied in a way that was consistent with modern information standards, machine readable data standards could revolutionize the way we do business in Europe and the kind of public accountability that uh, European governments would have. We actually began to embed this. There was a report that went into Parliament in 2007 talking about these experiments. And then Berners-Lee and I were asked by Gordon Brown to help set up this idea of a public information access resource, publishing non-personal public information. Lots of work had been done before. There was very good work by a guy called Tom Steinberg uh, on the power of information, a task force, pointing out the value that governments held in terms of information that they collected, usually at the taxpayer's expense on behalf of the citizenry. Everything from transparency to economic value to public service improvement. If you publish the death rates of your hospitals by category or classification, people don't want to be at the top of that league table, unless there is a good reason, such as they are the specialist unit working and dealing with the worst cardiac. So we did establish uh, data.gov.uk, uh, it was up and running uh, rather revolutionarily as a beta site for developers to work with us to improve in the September, we were appointed in June, exactly June a year ago today, interestingly enough. Um, it, was, it was up and available as a beta site, it was launched to the public in January of this year, it now hosts over 4,000 data sets. It has a developer community of around 2,500 activists who are looking to exploit and use the data. And it was built, guess what? Drupal and MediaWiki. It was released as a beta, a service still under development. It was described when it was released as something a PhD student might have knocked up, a couple of them might have knocked up in 18 months. Yes. Okay. Why? Well, because MediaWiki turns out to power, of course, as we know, uh, uh, um, such things as Wikipedia. You won't find a piece of software that has been submitted to so much attack and so much external uh, attempt to exploit it, game it, subvert it. It's very harm that software and very usable. So this was a bit of a breakthrough both on the procurement of systems. It wasn't really ever procured. It was just kind of done as a guerrilla activity. It's a single point of access for all 